this pick, 17th overall, by the way, thank you so much, 343 likes, that is crazy. But the Red Wings at 17th overall, you could debate that depending on who they pick, you could take that ninth overall pick with Danielson and this 17th overall pick with this other guy, swap it around, and it actually makes more sense. Oliver Moore is available. Gabe Perot is available. Axel Sandin Pelica, they're all available. We'll see where Steve Eiserman goes. But it's going to be interesting because the Red Wings went with a very, very safe pick at ninth overall with Danielson. No disrespect to the guy, I just don't think he would have been the most high-ceiling pick at ninth. So for 17th, they have a little bit more flexibility to either stay in the safe realm, take somebody that's a little bit less of a high ceiling, and or take somebody with an extremely high ceiling, but maybe a little bit of a lower floor, like an Oliver Moore or a Gabe Perot or an Axel Sandin Pelica. So we'll see. You could like swap the two picks and it would actually make sense depending on who ends up getting taken. They're doing an interview with Adam Fantilli, second, or not second overall, third overall, right, and the Columbus Blue Jackets here on the TV right now, but yeah, Stevie Y is indeed at a crossroads with where he should go, unless they end up trading the pick, which this entire thing is kind of pointless. Thank you so much for the super chat, Lord Venom. Thank you for doing this live. Appreciate you so much. First time watcher. Nah, thank you, fam. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your time with us. It means a lot to me. And I really appreciate the super chat as well. But the Wings, they had a lot of time to make this pick. There was a commercial break and now another interview. Oh, they're just starting the timer now. Okay. Um, why Erickson jersey? Because Louis Erickson was the absolute goat. This is the Lunar New Year jersey. He's over here. But yeah, the Red Wings have a good opportunity to take a boatload of players. Um, I'm actually surprised at the way a lot of these picks went with Hanzik and Jaeger, the WHL guys. Matt Wood going a little earlier makes sense. Unfortunate that Benson was taken by Buffalo, but that was a really good pickup for them. So for Detroit, if they take an NTTP guy or ASP, I think that'd be a pretty good pickup. I honestly don't disagree with Axel Sandin Pelica with Detroit. I didn't like him for Vancouver. I think for Detroit, it actually would make a little bit more sense. So, okay, there you go. The Red Wings, the pick is in. 17th overall, who do they end up taking? Are they gonna, they're gonna take their sweet freaking time to get up to the draft stage again, aren't they? Closet Habs fan? Yeah, no, Habs are my second favorite team, man. Not a Closet Habs fan, just a full-on Habs fan. Lego, your voice is a comforting thing, along with the hockey guy and Top Shelf Hockey. Well, thank you. They are uh, both very good YouTubers, so I'm happy to be mentioned in the same light. But the Red Wings, they have themselves a pretty good opportunity to take a hard-working forward in more, a very nice complimentary passer in Perot, or an offensive defenseman stud in ASP. Are they going to make their way to the stage already? Okay, yeah, there you go. Stevie Y, baby. Steve Eiserman. Look at this man. He just took Nate Danielson. Now he's got another opportunity to take somebody else. Yeah, we got a lot of people here in the chat. ASP. Um, no trades. Can't they draft a little bit faster? It's 3 a.m. for me. Yeah, if you're in Europe, it's not fun. But uh, there you go. The Red Wings already going up. Oh, there's Derek Lalonde. Nice to see him over there. Make a trade, darn it. Yeah, we kind of have been lacking on the trades today. But that's okay, because the Wings are now going up to the stage, and they're going to make their second pick of the night. There you go, shaking Bettman's hands. Probably the second time they're doing that this time around. Lalonde. Please be Oliver Moore. I want Oliver Moore. I want the Wings to take Oliver Moore. Who's going to make the pick? Where's the microphone? The microphone isn't even there. I'm really confused. What's going on with this draft program here? Oh, there it is. The microphone came up from underneath the stage. Oh, right. Okay, he's thanking the fans. Nice. 17th pick? Ooh! 
They took Axel Santee and Pelica. Let's go, baby! I love that pick for the Red Wings. Oh my goodness. Axel Sandine Pelica. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like... How the heck do you spell this guy's name? Did I spell it right? I spelt it right. Wow. Hooray for me. I spelt it right. Axel Sandine Pelica is a Detroit Red Wing, and I love saying that. This entire time, the Wings have been building their decor with big behemoths on their blue line. Cider, Edvinson, even Willander to an extent. This guy's not a big behemoth. But what he does have is a skill set that really complements the rest of the way Iserman has built this decor. An offensively minded right-handed defenseman that I personally did not want to see the Canucks take because they already had Quinn Hughes, they already had Hronik, it would not have been a fit. But for Detroit, Edvinson, not supposed to be too much of an offensive guy. Sider, not supposed to be too much of an offensive guy. They can get offense, but they're not supposed to fit into that archetype of being offensive defensemen. Sandin Pelica, he does. And when it comes to the distribution of how the points are going to go and the roles on the team. This is a smaller right side offensive demon who can get things done and whom the Red Wings took at 17th overall. This is a good pick. Very good pick. And you know what? I'm going to go out there and say it. If you think of Nate Danielson at nine and swapped him out with Sandine Pelica, it honestly doesn't feel too bad. Like, if Sandine Pelica went somewhere in the top 10, I honestly could live with that. So, taking Nate Danielson at 9 and Sandine Pelica at 17, those two picks together, I like it. Stevie Y, you did it well. Let's go, man. Axel Sandine Pelica's a Red Wing. I love that. I love... Yeah, he does have a cool name, Sacro. You're totally right about that.